Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you Airtable formula that lets you calculate next date based on the current date if the pattern is irregular. For example, in next two days, but only if it's Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Let's get going. All right, so let's take a scenario when we are using Airtable to collect orders and here we have a um, a sample form where you can select let's say a product and add the name and address and what it does it basically allows us to get submissions for each of the submissions we have the order date and the order date is created using a formula created time so that's that's how we get the order date without asking customers for that so what we would like to do now is to calculate delivery date and we know that delivery date will be in next two days because for example we need two days to pack the product pick and pack prepare the product and so on so we can do it earlier in two days but only with the assumption that it could be monday or wednesday or friday these are our delivery days we don't use any other days so i have marked it over here but obviously you can also put a different pattern if you are delivering on different days. This is just for the purpose of illustration. So we know that to whatever day it is, we would like to basically add two days. So here I have converted the day of the week into a number. So Monday is number one, Sunday is number seven. And this also corresponds to the formula that we will be using. And I will show you this formula already here. So we'll change this field to formula field. And what we will do, we will use weekday formula so that you can see what I'm getting at. Let's select the order date, order date. And you will see right now that it basically converts the date into a number. So today is Saturday. So our order today is number six corresponding to Saturday. So let's go back to the, uh, to this table. So what we would like to do, whatever day it is, so if it's on day number six, we would like to add two. On any day we would like to add two, but it needs to fall for the delivery day on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So in this case, if we add two, we end up on the day number three. Day number three, it's Wednesday, so this is good. If we add to Tuesday two, we end up on four, it's Thursday. No, that's not great. So we need to add one more day. So in case here, we will be adding three. So this way we end up here delivering on Friday. Okay, five Friday. Let's check the next day on the list. We add two to Wednesday, five. Okay, that that is Friday, so that is fine. So if someone orders on Thursday, we add two, that's number six, that's Saturday, that's actually not good. So we'll have to add plus one, plus one. So actually we would have to add four. And you see this is eight, eight minus seven. So that would be Monday again. Okay, so if someone orders Thursday, we need to add four days to it for the delivery date. If it's Friday, we actually need to add three. So you can see it's also eight. So it's also Monday. If someone orders on Saturday, we actually don't have to do anything because it will be within two days, it will be Monday. And if someone orders on on Sunday, then it falls nine, nine minus seven. So that would be Tuesday. So that's not good here. We have to add three again. So obviously you can, and that would be the delivery on Wednesday. Right, minus seven ends up three, correct. So. You can change this pattern to any day it fits. So you could say, for example, okay, if it's on Saturday, maybe, you know, maybe it cannot be Monday, maybe it can be Wednesday. So here you would actually have to add four days as well. So have a bit of longer time and then uh, 10, that would be also Wednesday. But in our case, let's keep it like this. So what it tells us, it tells us that if the weekday of order is two, we need to add three. If the weekday is three, we need to add two. So that actually helps us to create a little bit more manageable pattern that we will use in the formula. So you can see that two is here one, two, three times, and then three is also three times, and then there is one time number four. So if it's if it's four, then we add four. Okay, so this is perfect. So 
this is the the lowest occu uh, the lowest occurrence so let's start with that building our formula so here just to make more variety in the date so you can see it i'll just change it from the created date to a custom date and yeah okay just that confirm change and i'll just make a little bit more variety so that you can see how it looks on different days in the week all right actually you can see that if the the day of the week is sunday then the formula returns zero so let me just make one correction here if it's sunday this means zero but it doesn't change anything else in our calculation it will just have effect on the formula that we are creating okay so these are the days and we know that in this case if it's first day then we have to add four so let's do a formula for that which will be following we'll be using an if statement here so let's start with if and the first thing we look if weekday equals four in this case we add what do we add we add also four so the next step would be let's here let's put else and let's see whether it works we'll build it in stages okay so we see that in this particular case we add four fantastic so we can see we can see that and now let's build the second part of the formula so what's the second occurrence it's actually not a big difference we can see that it's three times two and three times three so let's just go ahead with the number number three so let's now build a second part of the formula here inside of else and here we'll have three conditions i'll just copy paste this part and since there are multiple multiple parts here we are starting to write if again so there is another if formula here and then inside of the if formula we start with the condition and because there will be multiple items in the condition we will start writing with or or means we can have multiple conditions there and you can see there is quite a bit of bracket but before we proceed let's just complete the formula so here we'll say add we add three and then else we we add two so anything that matches our formula here we will add three and anything else we will add two okay just now for the test we will write true inside so that we can see whether the formula works we didn't make an error we have made some errors so let's double check what's the error here we are missing one of the closing brackets so somewhere we were adding the brackets here we can see we are closing this bracket we are closing this brackets for if and we have missed one bracket here so this is the reason why i'm building those formulas sort of step by step so it's easier to track errors this way okay so we can see it's empty over here so that means oh, it's actually my mistake because I have put the empty brackets behind the phrases here not behind the or condition so let me change it here and now there is one bracket too many okay when I was adding true true already had brackets here so that caused it to move around okay right so now the formula works it doesn't give the correct answer yet but this is Good enough okay let's continue so now inside of our or so here we will start adding what or conditions would it be so we want the weekday to be equal to two five or zero let's do that so weekday equals two weekday i'm copy pasting this equals five or equals zero and let's save all right and you can see the formula is already there so we know how many days to add so if it's monday we add two if it's tuesday we add three okay that that's good so then this has actually sorted out the other conditions now we're just gonna convert it into date so let's go back into customizing this and when we say we add four what we're gonna do we're gonna say date date add there is a formula called date add enter and usually try to complete the brackets before you start typing so you 
avoid forgetting them. And what we need to do is uh, add date. So first we need the starting date, so it will be the order date. That will be the order date, and then comma the count that we are adding. In this case, we are adding two. So that was our uh, no, sorry, we are adding four because this was our starting condition. And then we need to specify what unit we are adding. In this case, we are adding days. Um, I don't remember whether this is days or day. I think it's day. Okay, let's test it. Let's save. All right, now we see the date. It looks not the same as the date here because we have mixed of different types. So we have text and we have date, so it's all by default text. All right, so now let's find this uh, date add formula. So we have four days, okay. And now the thing that we need to do is just replacing those other two items here. So let's replace we add two by we add three by three, and then let's replace we add two with two. Okay, so this is this is number two. Let's save it. You can see it's quite long formula. All right, so we have that, and let's change the the formatting so it's not including time. All right, and you can see that we have the dates. Let's also check whether these are the, the weekday that we want. And for that, we will use one more formula here. And let's call it day of the week. And let's format the date. So first, what we need to do is the, the format of what date we would like to do. Delivery date. And for the format, I don't remember exactly the format, but it's going to be something like that. No, that's not correct. So let's just look for the reference in help. Here I am on the support page for Airtable, and this is just where you can see how to specify um, the output. Okay, so you can see that uh, these are the abbreviations that you can use for the formatting of the date, and you can see all the different things. If you Google date time format formula Airtable, this is where you would end up. So let's just use this one for the formatting and let's change it to this one. And this will give us the next day of the week for the delivery. So we can see here it's Wednesday, Friday, Monday, 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 Wednesday. So you can see now that any date you select, it will be always at least two days from now, and it will be only falling on a specific dates. It will never fall on the dates in between, and the easy way to customize it is just use this sort of logic for reference, calculate what are the most common days, and then using that, you know how many, how many days you can add based on which day of the week it is. So that's it. I hope this was useful for you guys. And please like, subscribe, and this really helps the channel out. So really appreciate you guys. Have a good day.